Oh yes, we're outside of Nuketown. Doesn't this map look different from the outside? I don't know, it seems almost smaller. And just look at how barren the outside of this is. Welcome back to the channel, guys. This is Exotic Gaming here, and today I have a very special Call of Duty mobile video. I'm going to show you all something that I've wanted to post for a very long time. 10 secret locations that very, very few people know about. These aren't your standard run-of-the-mill secret locations that everybody knows about, you know, maybe like getting up on top of a light pole or something like that. No, this is actually very, very big secret locations that only a few dozen people know in the entire player base. Stuff like this that you can see completely breaks Call of Duty Mobile, but makes this game so much more fun. I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more Call of Duty Mobile content just like this. And leave a like if you want to see another top 10 secret locations video like this in the very near future. I don't just know 10, I know many more. I know like 20 or 30, so if you want to see another video, it depends on the amount of support we get on this one. Be sure to subscribe to my friend Ice Chris. I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. That's my other account there. Ice Chris helped me out with this video, and it wouldn't be possible without him. I would suggest if you want to see more videos like this in the future, you subscribe to him. His channel link will be down below in the description. But yeah, without further ado, so we don't waste too much time, let's sit back, relax, and get into secret location number one. Just thought I'd note that you guys should not attempt this in a regular multiplayer match. Only do this in private matches because if you do this in multiplayer matches, you have a good chance of getting banned. Do this for fun, explore around the outside of maps in private matches and then you're going to be good enjoy all right guys so here we are with secret location number one i brought you guys to hijacked and if you thought these balconies are the highest spots you can get in this map well you're wrong you can actually get up on the very top of the ship and you can even make your character fly if you're doing it right pretty unusual secret locations that you wouldn't think exist in this game but they do now, I do apologize if my audio is a little bit different. I am recording the audio with my phone. Just thought I'd mention that. The main item you're going to need for many of these different secret locations is the shield, which you can see highlighted in gold on the top right of my screen. Now, the shield is going to bring you to some secret locations you not normally would be able to get to. And if I do this the right way, if I place this very precariously where it goes blue, maybe back where it was before, although that might not be in the perfect spot. There we go. You're going to see your shield precari precariously on that corner. Then from here, you're going to jump and then spam jump a couple more times. And then your character is, for whatever reason, floating on a roof, an invisible roof. And then from there, if you jump from here, you can get your character all the way up on the very top of the ship. So if you thought those other balconies were the very top parts of the ship, you're wrong. You can actually get up here, and even though it might not be the most useful of secret locations, because as you can see, there are invisible walls, maybe not from here. Let's test it out. Ah, there's not. It's still really cool, and I thought I'd show it to you guys. So, yeah, that is secret location number one. All right, guys, so secret location number two is probably one of the most well-known secret locations of this video because it's probably one of the only secret locations that is actually intended in this game. We're going to fly our character far over to the top of the hill. Once I land, I'm gonna show you guys exactly where this is on the map. It's close to Crash, it's close to a couple of other areas on the map, and it's actually an entire secret cave. PUBG Mobile is not the only game that has a secret cave. Call of Duty Mobile does as well, and it's right there, as you can see on the map. What you're going to do is you're going to take this thing, you're going to slide all the way down to the very base of this cave, and it's going to actually bring you to some very good secret loot that most people won't even bother getting to. As you can see, there's a ton of different weapons, tons of different other items that you can actually relatively peacefully gather if there is another pretty decent player out there, they might know about this, so you might want to watch out for them, because again, this is probably one of the most well-known secret locations, but it's still pretty cool, and I thought I'd show it to you guys. Secret location number three takes us to Takeoff. I actually really like Takeoff. I know a lot of people don't really enjoy this map, and I'm not entirely sure why. I think it's a really good map. So, you're going to head over to the scaffolding, which is going to be right in this area of the map. And be warned, this is probably one of the most difficult secret locations of this entire video. It is very rewarding, 
but it's also extremely difficult. So be prepared. What you're going to do first is go over to your settings. You're going to go over to your basic settings, scroll down and make sure to press hold crouch while sprinting. That is the key thing. Then you're going to find this little support beam. You're going to run and jump. Keep holding run because if you stop running, your character is going to fall down. So don't, don't stop running. And then from there, it's very important that you aim your character toward this wall, press crouch, and then your character is going to stop. You want to make sure you're not sprinting because your character is going to slide off the edge into that area. And then from here, you're going to have to very precariously edge yourself around. And then in one swift movement, you're going to need to run around this corner, jump, and then you're going to land on a little ledge that's right there. I will probably not get this on my very first try, so I'm going to cut to the parts where I actually get this recorded. Oh my god, finally. That took about eight minutes straight of consistent fails, guys. But as you could see there, I managed to run around, and before my character fell down, I jumped just at the right moment and landed on this ledge right here. From here, you can land down here, and you are now behind an invisible wall. You can't really shoot through. Actually, yes, you can shoot through that part of the wall, but it's just a cool secret location that no one's even going to be able to see you from. I don't think they can even see you from even the higher parts of this scaffolding. And I don't know, man, it's probably one of the most secret locations because so few people actually know about this. Definitely try this out. It is entirely unrealistic if you're ever in a multiplayer match because it's going to take almost the entire match to get this successfully completed. But it's still fun, nonetheless. And here we are on Raid. Secret location number four takes us to this beautiful map. And if you ever wanted to get to an area where you could really hide from everybody and they would never know where you are, this is probably going to be the area to go to. It's not going to be an area that you can hide in and then shoot at other people from, but it is going to be a pretty cool secret location if you're maybe playing with friends, doing hide-and-seek, or anything along those lines. Again, you're going to need your shield for this, and you're going to place your shield down right about right there. You're going to climb up on top of the shield very precariously so you don't fall off the map. Then you're going to jump here, and then from here you're going to spam jump your way up there. Now your shield will eventually probably run out, and after that point in time, no one's really going to be able to get up there after you. You're going to eventually be hidden completely from everybody unless they see you from inside. They might try to shoot at you. You're not going to be able to do anything to them. I mean, it's literally just a glass window. But they're not going to be able to do anything to you either. So you can go over to areas like this and be completely hidden. Maybe getting a couple of people occasionally that would be over here. Nevertheless, it's still a really cool secret location and I thought I'd show it to you guys. So it's about time we find ourselves in firing range. The fifth secret location of this video isn't so much a secret location, but rather one of the best areas of this map that most people can't get to but you can after you watch this video. You're going to be getting up on top of this roof right here, which as you can see normally, there's no way you could ever get up there. From this corner, you're going to get a very good vantage point on people spawning in over there. And then from this corner way over here, you're going to get a very good vantage point on people spawning in over there. It's a very, very useful secret location and it's actually extremely difficult to get to. What you're going to do is you're going to jump up on top of this little fence right here. You're going to have to do some parkour, get your character up on top of here, and then get up on top of here, then jump to there, and then climb up on top of the roof. I'm not going to get it my very first time, so I'm going to cut the video to the point where I finally get it successfully done. There we go, finally made the jump. As you can see my time at the top left, I started at 20 minutes. It does take a while. Now you're going to jump to that spot right there, and then you're going to climb up on top of the roof. It's a little bit precise. This is not, you know, the easiest secret location to get to, but it's definitely worth it. And there you go. I would recommend not jumping from close to the roof. I would recommend starting way back and then doing like a leaping jump, because if you start from here, your character might hit that spot and then fall off the edge. So if you start from there, your character is going to be going more perpendicular to this roof, and then they're going to have a less likely chance of falling off. Now we're on top of this roof, though, and as you can see, 
From here, you're going to get a very good vantage point on people spawning in over there. And then from all the way over here, you're going to get a very good vantage point on people spawning in over here. Very cool stuff. You also can see a pretty interesting area of firing range that the developers would not want you to normally see. And I don't know, man. It's a cool spot. Try it out for yourself. Man, things just keep getting better and better. We're back in firing range, and this secret location, secret location number six, which is only halfway through the video, isn't even the best one of this entire video. I'm gonna show you how you can get outside of this map right behind this wall right here. It takes like five to 10 seconds. It's so easy. You can do this in any multiplayer match, and it's awesome. So don't click away from this video because there are even better ones than this one coming very shortly. What you're going to do is come to the area that my character is right here on the minimap, go prone, as I am trying to do right there, and then you're going to crawl underneath this table right here. Once you're about right here, it doesn't really matter exactly where you are in the table, as long as you're underneath the table right up next to the wall to your left, you're going to hold left, as I'm doing right here, swipe down, as you're still holding left, you're going to disconnect your Wi-Fi, reconnect your Wi-Fi, go back into the game. As you can see very faintly at the bottom left, I'm still holding left. I'm going to reconnect to the server. It will take just a second. Click retry, still holding left. And once I connect, I'm outside of the map. That simple, that easy, and we can now enjoy firing range outside of the map in all of its glory. I've got to say, this is one of the coolest out-of-the-map glitches I've seen in a video game yet. I mean, you can go all around this entire map, and I'm not going to dedicate that much more time here, but I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. It is so simple, and it's something that you should try out right now while you still can, because this is just so cool. You can go over to this area here, training camps. You might be able to walk through some things, but it's a really cool out-of-the-map glitch, and... Of course, if you get too far, you might fall out of the map. So we're on to big, big things here. I'm going to show you guys how you can get outside of the map Nuketown for secret location number seven. It's a little complicated, and if you're lucky, you might be able to use this method for other maps as well. I'm not going to say anything more, but you can do the research yourself. What you're going to do is, again, use your shield, and you are going to place it right about... I'd say there is probably good. You're going to see that there is a very small gap between here and the taller parts of the shield. What you're basically going to do is wait for the timer of the shield to run out. And as it is collapsing into the ground, you're going to run and jump over the shield. And then from there, you're going to just keep spamming your jump button and you will keep climbing higher and higher into the sky and then eventually outside of the map. I'll show you guys how it's done. All right here, so in a couple of seconds, it's going to be the moment of truth. We have to act quickly and act very precisely when this actually starts falling. There we go, we did it. As you can see, as it was falling, you run off the edge and then try to basically leap over the edge of that. Now, if you don't wanna take any fall damage when you come back down, Kind of slowly make your way down by pressing that jump button. And then there you go. You're outside of the map, Nuketown. Simple as that. I mean, well, maybe not so simple if you've never done this before, but it probably will only take a couple of tries and then you'll get it done pretty consistently on a regular basis. So, yeah, I mean, that's basically it for this Nuketown one. You can explore all you want afterward, but we got to continue on with this video. So if you guys like the last secret location, you're going to love this one. I'm going to show you guys how you can get up on top of the roof and then subsequently all around to all different areas up on top of the map raid, even to areas like inside that little room that we can see right there. Here's what you need to do. You need to take out your shield. You're going to place your shield right about there. Then you're going to come over to this spot here. You're going to run and jump on top of this spot right here. It helps to where you run and jump and then do a 90 degree turn as you're over the top of the shield. That way your character doesn't vault over it, as you can see I've done right there. And then once you get up on top of here, your character tends to slide around a lot. So you need to do this pretty quickly. Jump on top of there, then run and jump from that spot up there. Watch me. 
Simple as that. As you could see, it didn't take a very complex level of different steps in order to do that. Only a couple of things there. But from this point, you're now running around the top of the roof in raid. I mean, from here, you know, you could lie prone if you really wanted to. No one's going to kill you from up here. So that's pretty freaking cool if you're playing like hide and seek with your friends or something like that. You know, you can have a good vantage point over other areas of the map. Kill your other account if you really wanted to. Very nice. And uh, even come over to areas like over here. As I've said before in the intro, I encourage you to not use this in a multiplayer match. So do it in like a private match as I did right there. That was just my other accounts. And uh, yeah, you can actually explore this just free of harm of other players. It's just cool. I don't know, man. Secret location number nine brings us to Crash. And we're actually almost finished with this video. This secret location is just like many of the others where I'm going to show you guys how you can get outside of the map. It's a bit of a small portion of the map that you can actually get to, but you're out of the map nonetheless, and I thought I'd show it to you guys. So you're going to come over to the area that I will show you on my map in just a second. Place your shield down on that railing right there as I am on the map. You're going to jump up on top of the shield now. There we go. All right. As you can see, it was a bit difficult to jump up on top there, but once you get up on top of that part of the shield, you're going to jump up on that spot of the shield. Be careful you don't get that spot underneath here because then you're not going to be able to jump there. Then you jump up on top of the ledge that I have been on right here. Jump there. And you can either jump to that spot if you really wanted to, or my personal favorite spot is right here. You can now hide however you want. You can see out over the map this way. Unfortunately, there is an invisible wall, but no matter. You can actually technically be outside of the map crash. Again, as I said, it's not the biggest secret location, but that's because we're saving the best for last. Secret location number 10 brings us back to the beautiful map of Hijacked. This is without a doubt the coolest secret location throughout this entire video and probably in this entire game. That's why I saved it for last. You're going to use your shield once again. You're not going to fall down there. God dang it. Anyways, you're going to take out your shield and you're going to place it right about there. After you do that, you're going to come over to this side of the shield and then just start spamming that jump button. If you do it right, your character will start to glitch through the ceiling and then eventually you're actually going to get outside of the map. There we go. We did it. As you can see right there, I got myself directly out of the map. My shield is right there. I am now in an intermediary area between the true out of the map and within the map boundaries. You can run around this area if you ended up coming out here. You might have come through the ceiling, so the shield is directly underneath the ceiling, and you might have actually gotten up there on that level. That's cool. Don't get me wrong, but this is the coolest thing. What you can do is come over to this area, run out, and you are now running around underneath the boat in Hijacked. If that's not the coolest thing ever, I don't know what is. This is absolutely awesome. And this is why I saved this for last, guys. This is probably the coolest secret location in this entire game. So yes, with that being said, that basically wraps things up for today's video. I really hope you all did enjoy this, and I hope you learned something new. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, then make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more Call of Duty Mobile content. Be sure to not do this in any multiplayer game so you don't ruin the experience for other players. Luckily though, you're not going to ruin the experience anyways, because as you can see, you can't shoot through the bottom of the boat with this anyways. So that's nice in that regard. Anyways, just try it out in a private match just to be safe. I would not want any of you guys to potentially get in any problems here with the developers of Call of Duty Mobile. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next episode.